how's it going? So not too long ago, I made a video explaining the significance behind the ending songs in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which will be linked in the comments if you're interested. But something I didn't get to mention was in part three, there were special ending songs that differed from the usual Walk Like an Egyptian or Last Train Home endings. These being the Oingo Boingo and Whole Horse Boingo endings. Man, try saying that 10 times fast. Well, in the same interview with Nao Katsusuda that explained the reasoning behind why certain songs were used for the endings, he also explained where the Oingo Boingo songs came from. He explained that there is a practice in the anime industry where episodes one and three are vital to a show's production. Episode one, because, well, if it's not good, people won't want to watch more. And episode three, because if it fails to retain the audience's attention, the then more established viewers may also drop it. Since Stardust Crusaders was split in half, now Katsusuda wanted to make sure that the third episode of the second half stood out. So he went to the producer with the idea, which was then greenlit, and that's how he got one of the most memorable ending songs in JoJo.